this is Mohamed Shakil here and uh, you're watching a flexible coupling a fabric flexible coupling so uh, basically this is how the design looks like and uh, it was created with the part design generative shape design and uh, it was finally assembled in the assembly design as you can see here are so many parts files so it was uh, assembled together so as you can see here we have uh, on top uh, the spiral flange and uh, the flexible disc the slotted nut here so the nuts are inserted on both sides and we have a small bush over here so as you can see here uh, the bush is uh, over here which you cannot see here so I'm going to show you uh, part by part each uh, part which was used for the assembly so if you go to insert existing component with positioning and product you can see here this is the first part uh, the first part which I have inserted was uh, the flexible disc so as you can see here on the flexible disc this is the flexible disc over here and we are having uh, you know circular patterns of uh, you know holes over here and uh, what I've done is uh, for the what do you say for the assembly I've used reuse pattern for the uh, you know insertion of nuts for uh, to the particular uh, holes instead of uh, you know uh, instead of uh, one by one doing the assembly I've just uh, used the reuse pattern for the assembly and this is how the flexible disc will look like and that that's the first part so uh, I hope you know that the couplings are basically used for the transmission of power between the shafts and uh, flexible coupling uh, is uh, basically used when you have a small inclination of uh, some around three degrees or something uh, between the shafts uh, so <coughs> so this is the uh, first part to be inserted and after that the spider flange will be inserted so the spider flange will be basically inserted on two sides but uh, you should notice that the flight of spider flange as you can see here this and this is uh, rotated uh, with an angle so it's not directly down so on directly over here down you have this nut being inserted and on the next slot you have on the reverse direction the same way whatever assembly you have done on the top so uh, that's the second part so I'll go to the next part here and uh, after that insertion you need to uh, insert the bolt special there is a special bolt which you cannot see here if you try to see it too so where the bolt is exactly is actually I'll hide the uh, uh, slotted nut and uh, spider flange here and you can see the bolt over here and you have this washer so so you can see that uh, this particular bush right here is not there down okay so I'll hide this bush here uh, no the other part got hidden the bolt got hidden so I'm going to bring the bolt back so this is how you can work with this swap visible space so if you click on this instead of finding out the part which you know is very difficult to find out over here you can directly click uh, on the object right click and hide you can use that option even when you're in the assembly option so this is your uh, part so I'll just pull it up so you can have a closer look of it so this is how a bolt special will look like you have two holes with which you can um, insert your uh, you know this particular uh, you know what do you say the split pin you can insert that and you can tighten it so uh, <coughs> this is a small over overview of uh, the fabric flexible coupling and it's an important mechanism it's, it's an important device which is being used for the transmission of power so you can try it out you can uh, design this and uh, before uh, exiting I'll just show how it looks like from different views So from the front view, this is how it looked like. And from
from this side view. If you want, you can take a snapshot of this when I'm doing it, so that uh, it will help you out in the uh, designing process when you're designing by yourself. So this is how the top view will look like, and this is the bottom view. So this is all about uh, a flexible coupling, and uh, soon if if you require a, a basic uh, scratch from scratch tutorial for this, you can uh, ask for me, and I'll be uploading that. So uh, I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you so much for watching.